Let's talk about muscle memory. You've probably heard that term before. It occurs when you've had multiple, multiple repetitions of a melody, a chord progression, a scale, to the point that it doesn't take conscious effort from your brain to play it. Somehow, your fingers just do it on the instrument without you even thinking. So as you develop this muscle memory, you won't have to intentionally think mentally, oh, this finger goes on C or that finger goes on B flat. And what that does is it frees you up to really express the music that you're playing, less so worrying about the technical aspects and really getting to the sound. So you might be saying, that sounds really cool. How do I get there? And the answer is repetition, repetition, repetition. Not just repetition, but correct repetition. When you're learning a scale and its fingerings for the first time or it's new to you, you got to make sure that you don't make mistakes at the beginning because then you're practicing mistakes. So while you're practicing a scale, if you continue to make repetitions, what's going to happen is that not only will you get it correct, you won't be able to get it wrong. It's like to that level is how well you play it. So a really good way to do this is to pick a scale or two that have the same fingerings. So you get two for the price of one, so to speak. This lesson, we'll be talking about the blues. So if we do the minor blues scale first, and then it's relative major, we're going to do a series of repetitions on this. So the first thing we're gonna do is four repeats, eighth notes at 60 beats per minute, four times. And then the same thing twice, for two octaves, and then the same thing triplets for two octaves. So we're gonna start with C minor pentatonic. We're going to do the exact same thing with the E flat major blue scale. Now remember, the reason that I chose the C minor and the E flat major is because they're the same notes and I'm also using the same fingering. If you wanted to do that in another key, for instance, you could do the F minor blues scale with the A flat major blues scale and practice them as a group. It is super important to practice daily things which are new to you, okay? You can't play, you know, scales for two hours one day and then 
not get back to it for a week and then expect it to be there because it's not going to be there. Even though you did those two good hours, even if you can only manage a half an hour a day, 20 minutes if it was a bad day, sit down at the instrument, think about it, look at it, hear it, feel the keys with smaller doses, so to speak, of study, 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 study. Somehow, miraculously, at a certain point, you're able to do it. I often tell my students, you know, you're having trouble with the scale today. And I don't know if it's going to take you 10 repetitions to get it right or 50 repetitions to get it right. But at a certain point, it hits a critical mass. And then it's almost like magic. You're able to play it. So that's what you want to look for, is that moment when after a while, it's just there. Mm -hmm.